Uh, this is uh, basically my chart. Uh, it's probably my chart of the year. In fact, it's my chart of the last 18 months. It seems that over the last couple of weeks, European Central Bank policymakers have been uniting to try and keep the euro down. If you look at the governing council of the ECB, they seem to be growing more worried about the currency's recent strength. And you can see their euro dollar. We brought it back to early 2007. Let's get back to our guest, Gary Schilling, a Gary Schilling president, and Shahab Jalinos of Credit Suisse. Shahab, I did this chart for you. If you look at euro strength at what point does it become a concern for ecb currently at 124.31 is it a 130 135 or does it need to be higher well i think if you look at the trade weighted euro um, it's actually not risen anything like as sharply uh, as the euro dollar rate has risen and that's because the dollar has fallen against virtually every major currency and i think from the ecb's perspective what matters is a trade-weighted euro. That's what determines overall monetary conditions. Uh, and as long as that's not going up as quickly as euro dollar, uh, I think for now, the ECB will remain in the mode of warning about uh, how volatility may be a problem down the line, rather than drawing a line and saying this specific level of euro dollar is something we can't tolerate. Right, but Shahab, if you look at central banks around the world, what is a central bank that has it more difficult? You could argue that actually the ECB, because of its unique position, um, could, could have the upside of surprising the markets more than others. Well, I think that the reality is that as long as the ECB has a negative uh, rate environment, uh, is underwriting that through bond purchases, uh, yet the numbers are strong, uh, then really there's a vulnerability there uh, which will keep the market looking to buy euros on any dip because the market believes that ultimately the next step from the ECB has to be tied to monetary policy. And once that comes through, all the outflows uh, from Europe that we've seen over the rec recent past that have helped to recycle the huge current account surplus, those outflows suddenly become much more questionable. And that's a good enough reason for the euro to go up. So I do believe that we need to see uh, maybe the rate hiking cycle in Europe actually start um, for the market to then think, OK, now we've had enough of euro strength. But until that point, uh, the euro will want to keep going higher.